Hello again. Uh, problem number one, um, you were to use the integers minus uh, nine to nine at most one time each, don't repeat any integer, to put an integer in each blank to make the product be a positive real number. Show that your solution works. Well, there can be several solutions, and the key fact uh, is to make sure that the imaginary terms cancel. I will check your answers to see if your answers are correct, and I am showing two solutions of that work uh, here, um, just to show you that there is more than one. I will check your answers, and you have to show the way I do that your answers work. So 6 plus 3i times 2 minus i gives you 12 minus 3i squared, which is 15, and so as you see, it's a real number. Another solution would be 4 plus 2i times 6 minus 3i is equal to 24 minus 6i squared is equal to 30. The way I'm going to grade this is either it's correct or incorrect, 3 or 0. If you don't show that your answers work, just tell me what it is, you will lose one point. Number two, uh, there were two parts, A and B. Uh, a rare species of insects was discovered in the rainforest to protect the species from extinction. Entomologists transferred a certain number of insects to a protected area. The population of the new colony T days after the transfer is given by P equal 50 times uh, the whole of 1 plus 0.5 T divided by 2 plus 0.01 T. How many insects were transferred? Well, this is substituting T equal to zero. So when I put zero in there, I get 25. So the correct answer is uh, 25. Um, the uh, how many days will it take to reach 100? Well, that's the population is 100. So I'm solving 100 is equal to, and then I um, uh, solve this for t. So I get t is uh, 25 over 4, and um, so that ends up being uh, 6 and 1 fourth days, or you may say it takes 7 days. I'll count either one of those correct, but this is all correct. Or what I guess what I will say is you get one point for this and one point for that. So um, that's the way that's going to be graded. And that adds up to, or actually I'll say it another way, it's worth four, so you get two points uh, for this and two points for that, so it's two and two. Uh, number three, um, uh, what happens is uh, the solution set for the, uh, you're trying to find, is to come up with a quadratic equation uh, where the solution is uh, three over two and, and five. And it asks what quadratic equation gives this a set. Again, several answers could be correct, uh, but you see it has to be the product of these two factors has to equal zero. And this could be written a number of ways, but and I will check your solution, uh, but it's either going to be uh, two. Uh, it, it, it could be, and this is one solution: two x squared minus thirteen x plus fifteen. Uh, I multiply all the way through uh, here by 2, and, and then I uh, expand it. I will be checking your answers to make sure they work. This is either going to be right or wrong, 3 or 0. Uh, finally, uh, the last problem, number 4, is worth 5 points. So somebody's landscaping uh, backyard, which is 16 by 25. Uh, he buys 162 feet of sod to put in the middle, leaving a uniform width around the four edges for planting flowers. What dimensions will the sod have? Okay, so if you let X be the width of flower bread, uh, draw and label a picture like this. And so here is a picture labeled. In the inside, you have 162, and you have a uniform width of X around the boundary. The second part asks you to write an equation that will lead to a solution. Well, you could write a number of equations, but one thing that you want to note at this time is because of you do really need to have both of these be positive numbers, that x is, and you need to have it be a positive dimension, that um, uh, x uh, is between 0 and 8, strictly between 0 and 8. Okay, so the equation could be you're going to take this dimension times this dimension equal 162, and you could write that different ways. Here's this most simplified way, uh, perhaps, to write it. 2x squared minus 41x plus 169 is equal to 0. 
Uh, you're supposed to solve your equation. This factors nicely. And the answers that you get when it factors are going to be 17 and 7 over 2. But for our problem, the biggest that x could be is 8. So 17 is too big. And then answering the question, they wanted to know what was the uh, dimension. So we go all the way back of the solid area. So it's 18 feet by 9 feet. Now there were four parts to here and add up the five questions. So it's going to be 1, 1, 1, and 2. Both, all of this right or wrong. So that's how I'm going to grade it. Take care.